Hey guys, welcome. Hey. Hello. How are you? Maybe welcome if I can get this other thing to turn off. I hope you're all <laughs> doing fairly well tonight. I know. We're experiencing technical difficulties. I know. We're standby. by. Is that someone? Technical problems, being what they are. That could be our tagline. Turbo, hey. can you turn that down, please? I can't quite reach it. Just in time. You just started. So, hey, welcome uh, for another wonderful episode of Recipe for Disaster. Uh, we appreciate your uh, your guys coming in. As you notice, the graphics, uh, we've been working on that. That's something that Chuck and I have been working on. George helped out a little bit. All of the players designed their characters for it, although not all of the character minis in there are correct or named properly, but that's okay. Um, we've, we've decided to try to use it. Um, we are trying to work with Hero Forge to maybe get a sponsorship. If not, that will be changing. Um, but until things come out one way or the other, we're going to use that and move forward because, you know, it looks so cool. Yes, it does. So, yeah. Um, four Eyes Ales? Yeah, Four Eyes Ales. I'm going <laughs> to talk about that. So, uh, Four Eyes Ales uh, is a brewer in the Bay Area of California. We uh, have been sponsored by them and they have sent us a couple of beers uh, here and there. More, uh, they've sent us more beers for uh, Fortune Favors Board, but uh, we have gotten some here and I'm hoping we get some next uh, next month or this month sometime as well. I'm going to send them a message. Um, so they make delicious beer. They usually uh, go around the uh, the festival circuit. Hi, Quasi. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you ever get the chance, highly recommend checking them out because they are uh, absolutely fantastic. We we love the beer here, and the ones that we tasted here, and also the ones that we tasted uh, on Fortune Favors Board as well. So yeah, highly recommend checking them out. It's on Instagram. It's at the number four e y e s a l e s. There you go. Yes, and this is their logo right here. Woo highly recommend checking them out and follow them. They post really interesting stuff. Uh, also, want to say a quick thank you to uh, Epic Worlds and Games. Hey, Jimmy. One of these days, we will arrange for to have you on stream, I promise, but um, we think we're missing some of the mics. Probably mine, because I'm stupid and didn't plug mine in. How about now? Hopefully that's better. Please uh, keep us informed in the, in the uh, chat screen to let us know. Um, so, Jimmy, we're hoping to maybe get you on sometime soon, but we'll see, so please bear with us. We're still ironing out the groundwork before we bring in guest players. I'm sorry, did you say you're hoping to get it off with Jimmy? Sometime soon? No, we're hoping to get Jimmy on the stream sometime soon. Yeah, get the stream on with Jimmy. Something like that. Yeah. Can we shoot him, please? Um, you know, that's a different show. You know, we're talking, we're talking like you know, recipes for disaster, not porn hot. Yeah, right. We Thank it you. Earlier. Yeah, dude, it was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> so did chat. So yes, you yes, for good, reason, for good reason. For good reason. Um, also want to do a quick. Shout out to uh, what's the name of that place that we're that, that we're here with? Uh, Endearing Films. Yeah. Hey, Chuck. I know you're hey, not Chuck. here. Uh, just just want to just want to have some some fun with uh, with you on that one. Hopefully, um, you'll watch the whole screen. Hopefully, I doubt it, but hopefully, um, Chuck has actually been pulling some extra duty for us. Uh, nice. He has he has worked on some three D animations for our stream. He's been working with me on, on animating characters. We might even have like little animated sequences eventually if we can figure out how to do it using the Unreal Engine um, after we can get more of the animations in down pat and solid. Just, a, just something for you guys to look forward to. Other things that I know we're working on, um, things that, that can help, we are eventually going to have a donate button. We're eventually going to have a uh, Patreon. Patreon. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so those are some changes uh, coming soon. Just keep an eye out for them. Everything that we can do to make the stream better, we're going to try. So if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to go ahead and send us a, a whisper on, twi on Twitch. Twitch. Thank you. Yeah. Or, or send us a tweet on Twitter or hit us up on Instagram or Facebook or all or the other social us. media places. Or what? Text us. Or text us if you have our numbers. Or yes. even send snail, snail mail if you have our addresses. Yes, yes, or you can send snail mail. Um, or even send us bits in real time so that we can receive 
is fun. Because or, or just meet me in public sometime and just hand us the donation money. That's yeah. uh, okay. no, don't do that. Yeah, no. And, and, and that, by, was, and by, that was sarcasm. And by us, we mean not Trevor. Um. <laughs> Excuse me, I am frugal with all of my investments. Um, other announcements. Let's just work our way around the table. We're going to start with Trevor and work over to Rapa. Any announcements, Trevor? Oh, we talked about four eyes ales. Yes. Uh, nope, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any? Over to you, Ryan. No, George. None. None. Quasi. This is going fast. I would like to wish a happy birthday to my second cousin, once removed, Lucky, and his posse is a bunch of like birthday cakes smearing demons. They're evil. <laughs> How old wow. Is your cousin? Huh? How old is your cousin once removed? Second cousin. So. How old is he? And once removed is like the All child right. of my right. second. Uh, no, but how old is he? <laughs> he is five. Five. And Explains the cake smearing. Explains Explains the cake. Explains so much. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's kind of why I was late because I was set to like come here directly from the party, except I was wearing a white shirt. It was white. <laughs> I'm not sure if it will be white after this. Well, but at least you have a nice new tie-dye it shirt. Look white now, I'm just saying. Uh, no, that's because I went home. Uh, I would have just worn it. Right? Cake everywhere. It would have been fine. I'm sorry. It's just <laughs> cleanliness is next to godliness. Well, okay. The man. There, there was there were smears of blue and red and green. So you have a it new tie-dye been, shirt. It would have been it would have been too distracting visually. Yeah, probably. I mean, we need a little bit of color. Mm -hmm. uh, break up. Black, black, black. No, I'm wearing no. color. Christine's wearing color. Ross is wearing color. Yeah. It's like every hey, other person. It's great. The well, with the exception of George. When we did the uh, photo shoot, though, I was the only one in color, so I was yeah. photoshopping every one of them. Yeah, it was, it was great. You guys will see that on the Patreon page. Well, um, and we'll your just like so. your poses were also just like. Yeah, way yeah. Generic Rafa. Rafa. Everyone else is like, hey, we're all serious and we're all standing here. And then there's Rafa. <laughs> and it was, it was, it was kind of good. It was kind of great. Yeah. Uh, and Rafa, any background. announcements? Yeah. One of these things to. Any yeah. announcements? Oh, yes. You. Uh, so, every <laughs> Thursday at seven th uh, 8.30, uh, we are also in the studio with uh, Trevor, Ryan, and then we're also joined by Moody and David, and we play board games. Uh, last week we played Loop and Louie and Get Lucky. Uh, we'll see what we play this week. Uh, but it's going to be Thursdays at 7.30. It's a lot of fun. 8.30. Uh, 8.30. Sorry, 7.30 is today. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, See my love. <laughs> <laughs> is Get Lucky uh, uh, an adult game? No. It's, it's about killing a man named Dr. Dr. Lucky. Lucky. Yeah. It's a, it's a Kill Dr. Lucky game. Oh, yeah, so it's okay. one of the three well, one of the three Dr. Lucky games. Uh, it's kill Dr. Lucky, Get Lucky, and Save Dr. Lucky. Um, oh, wait. I haven't heard of that one. That one's actually uh, an we older We talked game. about it on our show. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe yeah. you should have watched it, John. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was too busy shooting you guys. <laughs> uh, no, not that one. The oh, other okay. one. Two okay. streams ago. Good. But uh, I'm hoping to get a game that uh, was talked about at Gen Con a lot this week. Um, and I'm going to try to get it this Thursday. If not, we'll have it next Thursday. Anyway, uh, yeah, come join us. Sorry, okay. I forgot to mention that we played Loop and Louie as well. Loop and Louie. Oh, you yeah. know what? Louis. I did remember an announcement. Oh, my what? hair is super soft. What? My hair is super soft today. Okay. That's the announcement. Um, so I've got some announcements here. So next weekend, uh, Christine and I will and George will be at the Petaluma Toy Anime Comic Con Sunday from eleven to four. It's in Petaluma, California. So if you guys are in the area, have a chance to go to the area. Or just uh, say, screw it, and you want to drive all the way there from wherever you're at, we'd Making love to you see you in there. the area. How far is Petaluma from here? Uh, Petaluma three hours. is uh, just north of San Francisco. Yeah. So a drive. It's a bit of a drive. It's going to be a bit of a drive, but it's going to be a fun day. I guarantee it. What days? It is a three-hour drive Sunday. with right. moderate oh, traffic. Yeah. So more if traffic's heavier. Yeah, you know. We'll try to. And it avoid depends some on what route you we take. We might be a little late starting stream next Sunday. You think? Just saying. Uh, we also there is one route from uh, the other from routes are four hours or five hours. If you choose to not go through the city. Um, Can you go to State Park? No. 
Yes. The Doesn't go out there. Yeah. You can still get a cab from Petaluma to the heart station. <laughs> we have no, no, no. some. You'd have, to, you'd have to get a, a cab from downtown San I Francisco other across the bridge. There are some other uh, events that we'll be at um, in September and October as well as November. Um, so we'll, we'll update you guys with that information as we get closer to those dates. Um, but just want to let you guys know that we are going to, Christine and I and possibly George will be at several other events coming up throughout the next few months. Most notably, they'll be selling games at the, the Goldstein Bar Mitzvah. Yeah. Sure. Wherever Ooh. that may be. <laughs> what kind of games? <laughs> Accounting games. The Accounting ones games. that you play with my heart. heart. Oh, so Bill Sanders is uh, very you good at one. Yeah, pretty it's much. There. Small. Okay, but it's so all of that being said, I think that wraps up announcements. Anyone else have anything before we get started for this evening's episode of Recipe for Disaster? Actually, if you're in the Modesto area and you feel the need to sing... The Modesto Symphony Opera, no, the op Modesto Symphony Orchestra Chorus is taking auditions starting in a couple of weeks. So, hey, um, that's a great way to get involved in the community and, uh, I don't know, uh, flex your, your musical muscles if you've been wanting to, like, do something um, in a chorus. George, you should audition. Yeah, I heard oh, George hell is a very no. good singer. Yeah, you know, I heard that, that once he gets uh, enough liquor in him, George can sing better than anybody. Oh, man. He Not going to happen. Sings like a bird. Yeah, a dying bird. We're not going to get into that song. <laughs> Again. Yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't even <laughs> trying to go there. I missed it. So did Chuck. Again. Again. <laughs> I, I wasn't even trying to bring up that. So it's just an expression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. Like I said, I get it. It's like a bird, a dying bird. But we're not going there. Okay. Why do I have that list? Now That's you put it back into me head. Yes. Okay. So to get started this evening, uh, we're going to actually start with Amaya and Dustin. So while everyone else at the end of the last stream, um, I, I probably should do a recap, but honestly, it's it's a bit foggy in my head. Um, you guys... That was the night of the big creature. Yeah, so... so that was the there night was of the big, first... Um, there was the first, first event, tentative. First tent revival. The revival went well. He made a little bit of money. Um, it was an afternoon revival. Um, the evening revival was going to be much later. Uh, hoping for bigger crowds at that point. Um, Bill Sender had managed to come back um, and catch the tail half of that. As, uh, or the tail end of it with his new credentials being part of a government organization all of a sudden. Yeah, really as really instead of being called Bill Sender, he, he gave them the name of, of Jeffrey, uh, Bill, Jeffrey Dahmer. Bill Dahmer. <laughs> um, so that's, they've got that going for them, and that's exactly what it says on, on the credentials. So, you know, yeah, earlier good. that day. It's good. Um, earlier in the day, there was a, a huge raid. Let's, let's, okay, let's, let's start this over. Sorry about that. Um, to start last session, you guys encountered the federal government, a group known as Project Onslaught, as they shut down the fair, and uh, thanks to certain people feeling <coughs> uncooperative, almost arrested two members of the group. The group I was very cooperative. The, the group then infiltrated in unique manners, and... Bill Sender somehow mastermind infiltration specialist that he is convinced them that he was a member of their organization and that it was his first day. Even after he tried <laughs> to shoot at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want this the to uh, the situation at the at the carnival was taken care of and the carnival was shut down that night to head to a, to the next town. There was just too much heat going on for the manager of the carnival to want to deal with. He, na he made a tearful announcement to the group, and some of them will be reconvening and others may not. And that remains to be seen on who, and they'll be reconvening down in New Orleans. No, no. New Orleans. Bill no. went to the hotel, met up with them, got his credentials, 
had a brief exchange with a couple of the people. One of the pr people um, by the name of Gray basically told him that he knows he's lying, but they don't care. And they gave him the credentials anyway and sent him on his way. Tent what revival power? happened. It was an amazing thing. Made some money, saved some souls. Unfortunately, there was no real fully injured people there other than Jonah, and Jonah does not come up and and ask for healing we, in public. We did, we did have the vine man next week. No, no, he showed up later. Gotcha. He showed up at the tail end with Bill. I wasn't injured. At the, at, the very, at the very end, they showed up. You guys got into some discussion during some downtime talking about where you're going to be going, possibly to Slocum, Alabama, mm -hmm. on the way down to New Orleans, or even heading west. You guys uh, were still having the conversation back and forth about who was going to do what. During all of this, um, Amaya slipped away without anyone noticing. Went to the crime scene. Went back into the crime scene. Back into the house. Looked around and came back. While you guys are still discussing where you're going to go and why and the whole thing about a, a unrequited love that is now married to your arch enemy, mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Jimmy the Deft, Deft, not deaf. Deft. Sorry, Jimmy the Deft. Yeah. <coughs> I know. Jonah, I think Jonah Jonah's likes the Deft. <laughs> <laughs> um, so while while that conversation was happening, and you guys were still in the throes of the conversation, when Amaya and Dustin decided, wait a minute, let's go check out the alleyway of the apartment complex and see what was happening. And without telling anyone else, they slipped off. And made their way back to the crime scene. One rather important thing that you forgot were a couple. Diner. And bomb? There was no boom, so. It's all there boom. was no boom, but there was a bomb. There was supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. No, there was I a don't bomb. understand. There was a bomb. Just no boom. You know what? <laughs> if you want to know more, you'll have to like uh, go back to last week's, no, two weeks ago and watch the video. <clears throat> and that being said, Trevor will be uploading all of the previous episodes out on YouTube soon. sometime soon. And by all the previous episodes, I mean of this season, not necessarily the season before. Just, just saying. Okay, so we're going to start this episode off with Amaya and Dustin at the alleyway of the crime. <coughs> you guys made your way over there. Yes, yeah, you, Mr. I'm going to feed my face. While you know, while you're the starting person, yeah. I'm sorry, it's been a few days. <laughs> I'm joking. It's you know, fine. you should it's like fine. eat more often than a few days. Hey, that that Shut sounds up. a funny thing <laughs> in my mind. So there's there's a there's a there's the door. Irishman okay. that holds the record for the longest fast, <laughs> second longest fast. <laughs> he went 383 days without eating food. I think I can beat that. So, you know, the longest one is 385 days, and that was in a prison where the guy was, like, doing a hunger strike. And at day 385, they decided to actually force feed him liquid food. <laughs> oh, so it's not the guy whose final meal was a Bible. No, 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 not that guy. So anyway, just, you know, figured we have an Irish character and we have someone that, that's fasting-ish. <laughs> It's Un just unintentionally interesting, fast. Interesting trivia. Okay. So, to start with, you guys are at the alleyway behind the apartment. And I had seen whoever killed the people jump out the window and land. And so I was going to look under the window. Well, you saw them go out the window and close right. it behind them. Um, and that was what you were able to see with your previous role. So getting to the base of it, you can try to look into the past again. Ooh, good point. Do I need to give my rank of hindsight? Yes, I do need to know that. Okay, the rank is six. One moment. Thirteen or better, better is always better. Eleven. Okay. <coughs> Um, there's just been too much uh, cross pollutants of things that has happened in the last day. Um, too many other things have happened. You, you're not really catching a, 
any usable images of that person down at the base of the building. But I'm going to go look at the dirt and see if any evidence was left, and I'm going to ask, hey, Dustin, can you sniff out anything? Like, usable, I don't know. I don't know if you have a good sense of smell, but this Smells guy was horrible. going to be here, and I'm just wondering if there are any clues left behind. Use my investigation of two, range Thanks, six. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I nope, will. I don't see shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what, what's your rank on your investigation? Uh, six. Six. Okay. Go ahead and roll. Do you have uh, enhanced here? Uh, enhanced smell. Hyper smell, yes. Okay, hyper smell. For those at home watching this, um, I've changed the names of the powers so many times that that I'm not always spot on on the name of the powers anymore. So yeah. So I will work on getting better. Six. <laughs> hyper smell six and investigation of six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, just roll. Well, okay. So, what you're able to tell, um, there has been a lot of traffic through here. There's some gar garbage cans. It looks like a truck may have gone through here to empty them, or vehicles have driven by. Any signs of footprints or anything like that would be long erased. Um, with your hyper smell, you do pick up an oily smell, standard in most cities. Um, but there is a as you stand up more, I mean, you're on the ground, you're looking, and then as you're like checking out the walls and looking up, the, the higher you go up, there is a scent that, that sort of like plays with your nostrils a little bit. Um, it's not there solid, but it, it's like it's very faint. Uh, it's, it's, the, it's a slight smell of burnt lavender. Burnt lavender. It's a very specific smell, but it's not solid. Can you get me in the building? Uh, I don't see why not. So I'm going to go over to the front door. Okay. So you guys go back around. As opposed to jumping up and trying. You could what time of day is this? <laughs> um, this is evening. Um, it's after. Uh, it's, so let's see here. It's about 7 ish. So dusk is starting to fall, but there's still light. Yeah, there's still light. It's summertime. Why July, not? 7 p.m. I'm going to fly up to the window. Okay. Even if that's not what he was asking. Are you going to try to carry him up? I'm going to see if the kitty cat can jump. Climb and then I'll key. come back. Climb, <laughs> kitty, climb. If the kitty cat can't jump, we're going to see if the kitty cat yeah, can I, I did Gymnastics of nine. Yeah, you could probably scale your way up there. Yeah. Um, make a roll, uh, eight or better. Parkour. Twelve. Yeah. You're able to, so you go you go flying up and you see the cat look up at you, like pounce at like one wall and kick off that wall and do like a, a somersault and kick and jump and grab a ledge and, and makes his way up to the same area that you're going to. And? Is, you know, what you see as far as she, when she takes off is you see Amaya sort of, she sort of like steps on her tiptoes, you hear the sounds of gears and electronics as wings pop out of her back, you uh, you feel a slight buzz of energy in the air as the uh, energy membranes connect the the central pillars of her wings, and she just takes off. You feel the gust of wind. And I go back over here at the window. Okay. So you guys are both right in that area. And my thieving rank is four. Okay. So I'm going to try to get into the window if it's even locked. Um, yeah, I'm not going to make you roll. Um, it's not locked. Um, okay. It was not locked. When, per when you saw with your hindsight the person left, they closed the window. They didn't lock it behind them. Um, and the police did not relock the window either. So you're able to you're easily open it up. Do you see any evidence? on this window from the guy. See, investigation six, hitting the uh, abilities nine, 
Yeah, that's investigation that we'd be going off of. Okay. Thirteen. Okay, so up there, um, you do notice a, a few things that catches your eye. One, that the smell as you got closer to the window of burnt lavender increased um, to where it's it's still faint, but it's definitely emanating from that area. When she slides open the window, you actually get hit with it a little bit more. Um, it's still not overpowering, so it's not like the source is inside there, but the source had went through the window at some point within the last they 48 hours. They paused there for a bit. Yeah. Um, you also notice um, small, almost uh, invisible strands of hair, not in the windowsill, not on the window itself, but in some of the rock, some of the uh, the bricks above the window. Exude my claws and okay. Where did you put this one? Yeah, I'll. Tuck it in pants pocket. A bag or something? Do I look like a detective? <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out a plastic bag. There you go. I know anything else? That's what she got with that roll. Why would you carry around a plastic bag? Why not? Was it your lunch? <laughs> is there is there mayo? Is there mayonnaise in that bag? It was just a dime bag. <laughs> no, that's, oh. that, that, that's in the pocket. <laughs> Went from Yosemite to a bus to Georgia. When did you get plastic bags? Dude, I mean, he was on, he was bus on the bus for a, for a long week. Time. <laughs> But he only packed one sandwich, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to keep himself since the same time. <laughs> okay, so... There's a smear so of mayo you. in the no, there. He, he, he hands you the, the bag. It, it is a small sandwich-sized bag, though. Mayo, you it say. It does have a slight scent of mint coming out of it. Okay. It wasn't drugs, it was just catnip. <laughs> For him, it's drugs. <laughs> it's not drugs, it's just meth. <laughs> and am I limited for using my hindsight again so soon? Or um, You're in a different area, so you can do it again here. If you tried it down there again, you'd have to wait an hour or so before you could try it again. But being elevated up, this is a different section, so... So I'm going to go right inside the window and look into the room and see if I can see his face. Okay. With, I don't know if there's any light at that time. Well, she's doing that, I'm gonna climb off from the sill into the building. Well, okay, so are you gonna go in before or after her? Right after she does that. Okay, so she climbs in, stops in the windowsill. <laughs> just perks there. <laughs> okay. And his tail does twitch a little bit. One moment. You rolled a 12, is that right? Yeah. Okay. One list. I thought I'd print it off. Da, 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 da. Okay, so um, with a twelve, you see, you know, you're, you rewind back to the the time that you saw last when he's coming to the window. Um, it's definitely a male. Um, at first, you know, it was a live body. You couldn't tell if it was a female or male. It's a male. Um, it's also not human. It's got a very bestial looking face, a very wide, very hairy face with a short snout and fangs. Um, the reason that it looked kind of shadowy or, or hard to see what it looked like is its fur is very fine. It's a fine blackish charcoal gray sort of color and in darkness it sort of blends in really well with that but it's just moving in the light wind that's in that area. Um, the eyes are like uh, a pale gold. And you basically see him go right through you to go out the window. Do I have any sense of what race he is? Uh, looks lupine, so probably a lupinoid of some sort, or a dog person, for those that don't know 
lingo. <laughs> um, but very small. Uh, to give people at home or to give you a better idea, sort of a little bit smaller than Trevor with your build as far as the shoulders go. So it's a really small, compact lupinoid. Okay. Do I have any sense that I can find something else of use? Um, so when he goes through you, what do you do? Can you just sit there? Do I would probably look and watch him go. Okay. So when you look out, you see him go out. Um, you see him drop down just like a couple like feet down, but his, his hands stay right there. He closes the window, and then he goes straight up. Looks like we're going up. Up. Like to the roof. How oh, tall is, is the building? Um, so it's a three-story building, and this apartment is on the second and third floor. So you're at the third floor right now, so the roof would be right above you guys. Hard close, okay. hard close. Message nine. Twelve. Again. Okay, yeah, just pop, pop. You're up there, no problem. <laughs> So you guys, you fly up, I'm assuming, and you see the kitty cat do the acrobatics and, and climb up. I'll to probably get to the keep roof. my wings out too. Okay. Getting up to the roof. What do you guys do? Look, check that smell again. Okay. So once again, investigation six. Twelve. I'm doing a lot of soul tonight. I'm gonna keep this nice. Um, it's above average. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, it's a lucky number. Twi- B- and 2d10 when you roll 11, 12, 10, yeah, 11, I know. 12 are the, I usually are roll the common higher. ones. <coughs> so you get, you start looking around, you, uh, you don't notice a lot. You do smell the smell, but as far as anything else, you see where someone may have stood, but it'd be a small someone. Wouldn't be a big person, wouldn't be bulky, it'd be very small. Um, or an animal. It's it's not like boot prints. It's more like paw prints, but it's not real prints. It's more like the dirt has moved a little bit, but not enough to leave a full impression of the person. So a large animal or a small person. Correct. That's that's what you get, and you do smell it, um, but it's still faint. So it's a little bit stronger, but still. Can faint. I track it anywhere across the roof? Uh, roll. Be twelve again. No, no. You start walking around, smelling. You see him going, like walking around, pacing a little bit, and it's it's gone. If you go in any direction from where that spot is, you lose it. So it's still there, just long enough to deposit the scent in. But you can't tell which way they went from there. I'm gonna use hindsight again then. Okay. I rolled seventeen. Okay, so you get up to the roof. You're watching him, like doing his pacing around and trying to figure out what's what's happening. You see the person get to the to the roof, the the person thing, and you see two grayish black feathery wings come out of its back, and it goes straight up. Wow! Did not expect that. And then you lose it when it gets out of your range of vision. Did not expect what? Uh, evidently this guy has wings. He's a lupinoid with wings. Black. Right, I've heard of this. Hi, low. Hi. He's underdog. No, not at all. You've never heard of a winged bird person. You've heard of some winged cat people, which are really effed up. But you've never heard of a winged bird, uh, dog person. I was going to say a winged bird person. Sorry, yeah, I <laughs> caught my head. Sorry. Bird I, I have a winged, I meant winged dog person. I've you've heard of winged bird, heard of that not winged, winged dog person. <laughs> My, sp- my special power is I have wings. <laughs> well, I go and, call James. and you're a bird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so well, so yes. you, you tell him that, and he's like, pulls out a phone. Mm. Hello? Hi. No answer. No answer? Goes straight to voicemail. Like, doesn't even ring. Picks up. Hey, leave your message. You know what to do. I might get back to you if I'm still alive. 
James, call me back. We have information we need to discuss about the case. Hang up. I think this is as far as we can go, but I would think this narrows down a lot of suspects. <laughs> you think? <laughs> yeah, I've never heard of someone like this. So. <coughs> Let's go back. Alright. I'm gonna fly off. Okay, and she just goes flying off. Did she see her crawl in the top? Make an agility roll, just don't roll double ones, and you'll be fine. Don't piss yourself. Right? Ten? Okay. Yeah, you make it. You're not going nearly as fast as she can go, but you know, you're, you're able to. You're able to make your way back. I'm not ditching I'm not. him. I'm just yeah flying. You're just flying. It's like Meanwhile, be honest. You are a little bit. <laughs> just my flight isn't all that high. It's rank of four. Yeah, so you're able to go 25 feet in four seconds. He's able to go probably Running rank nine. Yeah, but you're not going to be doing yeah. that from rooftop to rooftop. You're probably going to be able to go 20 feet at most, but it's time, but it's nine. only like a block and a half. Yeah. It's not going to take either of you that long to get there. Meanwhile, the rest of you guys, you guys were having the conversation about where you were going to go. Uh, so that was a no on New Orleans, right? I'm just... Now hold on there. Like... Why are you so keen on saying no to New Orleans? No, I suggested New Orleans, and you guys said no last time. I mean, two minutes ago. I said, I said <laughs> we needed to to take a, we needed to take a, a more, more, more leisurely, leisurely route. That New Orleans could be definitely one of the destinations. We need to go, uh, uh, at least for a day to Slocum, Alabama. Okay. But that's all the way to New Orleans. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. The only reason I want to go to New Orleans is because I watched the movie Chef the other day, and those beignets look really good. They are really good. Yeah. But, you know, they'll still, they'll still have <laughs> oh, beignets in New Orleans. <laughs> well, I'm not in a hurry or anything. I'm just saying. I mean, it's, it's not like they're, 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 like, uh, they're the be-all and end-all of all pastries, but they are really, really delicious. Now, hold on. Yes. I think you're wrong. Oh no no now this is getting personal. Wait wait wait. So <laughs> so so you're all gonna say yet? that <laughs> that so beignets saying, are the best pastry ever. So you're also saying though that you watched a movie about beignets and then yeah. Well I mean it wasn't about beignets. You've never had a beignet. I never said I never had a beignet before. That where did you have a beignet before? I, I had one in when I was in New York. You had so a you New York beignet. One, you didn't have one in New Orleans. I re I'm just saying I really like beignets. By the way, I think I lost my ass. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's <laughs> just... <laughs> I don't have to know when to Let's just agree. It's pretty great, but... Let's just agree that <laughs> we're beignets. going to go to New Orleans and you're going to have yourself some beignets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> From Café du Monde. That's exactly where I want to go. Exactly. But we're not going to go hell bent direct to New Orleans. Oh, no. Oh, no. Heaven make... forbid we go hell bent for anything. Speaking of which, Bob! Who's Bob? The driver? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's the order. It's the order points. I figured. I'll no, no, it was, it was like, well, we're, 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 in, are, we're still in Applebee's, aren't we? No, yes. no. We, no. We got, well, no. We're, we're still yeah, outside of the just, restaurant. You guys are standing though. outside of the restaurant. Oh, oh yeah, you no, guys no. are still at Applebee's. I'm alone. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, so <laughs> you walked off? Yeah, I went home. First I heard of that. Okay. <laughs> no, I think I think I remember. No, no, I definitely yeah. left in the middle of Applebee's. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he went, we he went to, 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 to his, his, his con of folk. And, and, oh, right. And, right. And, and, did we, did no, I, I stayed no. at the bus. Yeah, he, he went to the bus. Talked to Bob. <laughs> to oh. be fair, I also okay. said I went to my apartment. No one heard me, so I guess my I character did. had second thoughts. So I'm like, yeah. all right, I guess yeah. I'm yeah. staying yeah, here. Stayed so we're, 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 we're on the corner of the street I mean, outside it's Applebee's. It's just like you took three steps and went, ah, let's, let's talk about this. this <laughs> right, and yes! Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why it's on your mind. Yeah. So, I think we were all back at the bus. Yeah, I thought they were all back at the bus. You <laughs> are off doing yeah. your side yeah, yeah, of it, yeah, yeah, yeah. you shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you three, and you're, you're at the bus waiting for them. We'll get to you later. All right. All right. So, 
<laughs> so we need to go to Slocum, Alabama. You need to 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 resolve your issues with uh, with what's a face. Yeah, that's right. Maybe give her pickle tickle or something. A what? What they're not Never married. Mind. Huh? I thought you. I thought we we're not supposed to have sex with until you're married. Well, what? that's what the what the that's what forgiveness is all about. Forgiveness is the way. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. <laughs> no, no, no. Ideally, I'm sorry. What ideally, you, you should not have sex before marriage, but this is the South. Come on. I'm sorry. What kind of preacher man are you again? A okay. realistic one. <laughs> <laughs> there goes our release, Paulie. We had that for all of like we just three lo- days. We just lost a viewer. <laughs> we lost all the viewers. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> All our viewers are about Lanta. <laughs> now the thing is that that man is not a perfect beast. He is made in the image of God, but he has what is called uh, the original sin. So um, man uh, is uh, man is flawed, and we sin, uh, and what happens is that it is through the miracle of Jesus. And we're going to cut over to Trevor. <laughs> <at this point>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. You didn't like my, my, my sermonizing? No, I did not mind it at all. And your character would be doing the sermon to the and, two of you and guys. And Jonah would be eating it up. Yep, yep. And, and <laughs> maybe Bill would be, who knows. But you didn't, you didn't like my, my commentary on it. It was good. It was good. I liked it. I think it's perfectly in character. However, oh, Trevor. Okay. <laughs> you get back to the bus. I've been at the bus. I had a conversation with Bob. Yeah. Who's just sitting there? Bob. What? <coughs> Tea kettle? Tea kettle. It's on the list. It'll be here soon. I ordered it from Amazon. I don't know what that is, but I'm not going all the way to the Amazon to get. Oh no 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 no! The, the, the drone should drop it off soon. Or the car. Or the only droning I'm hearing. Or maybe is from a guy you. on a bicycle. How are they going to find us? I put the address of where we're at. It's all right. How do you put the address of a bus? We're in a parking lot outside of a building. I understand it's hard to grasp. Isn't there a tea kettle inside of that building on the other side of the parking lot? Maybe. You want to go find it? <laughs> Why don't you go look for one, and I'll stay at the bus to make sure that if anyone else can, <laughs> they know where you're at. John. <laughs> I do want to point out, though, I mean, it's not the same thing, but there was a coffee pot yeah, yeah. that he put on my truck. Yeah, there was. <laughs> you know, I would go in, but I don't know what kind of a establishment it is, and my clothes are a little, um, I'm not dressed up. Ah, fair enough. So why don't you wait here, and I'll walk over there and see if they've got a tea kettle for you. And some uh, Irish breakfast or English breakfast tea. No Earl Grey, right now? That is an English breakfast, yes. Okay. Sure. I'll, 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 I'll ask. Black tea. Oh, Brenner, any black tea. Have you ever been to a Piggly Wiggly? No. <laughs> oh, God. Any black tea. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. I have. And then he walks off. You hear the sounds of his footsteps receding. Also check for sugar, <coughs> lemon, honey, milk, oh, oh, oh. any of those hold normal on. tea you drinking start walking things. Back. Okay, hold on. Gets into the bus. You hear like something opening and closing. You hear the sound of paper rustling. Okay, I got a pen. I didn't know I was going on a grocery shopping list. I just need tea. Right. I was going to get you tea in a teapot, and then you started saying other things. So go ahead. I think I got this. Sugar. <laughs> Main ingredient. 
the south, yes. <laughs> Me? I don't like sugar in my tea. No, I don't. I, I want these as separate items. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. Separate item. Got it, yeah. It's in the notes. Right, so yeah. it's not going to yeah. be pre-mixed, right? Not unless that's all they have. No, 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 no. I want to make it myself. Okay, no pre mix Got it? Yeah. It'll come in a gallon. We'll have to heat it up. <laughs> Sweet tea. I go through the task of Lemon ordering. sweet tea. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. He, he writes it down, and then he's, okay, I, I, I've got it. I got my notebook. I'll, I'll yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> As he's walking off, you, you hear him muttering, you know, Jesus under his breath. Christ, it's still very Mary. audible to you of, you know, freaking blind people, and now they think I'm a fucking gopher, and I can't believe now I'm buying freaking tea. Who my, called him a gopher? bus is destroyed. He's just, you hear him muttering that <laughs> as, he's, as he's walking up. I know, I mutter that to myself. <laughs> Jonah, meanwhile, not knowing anything that's going on there, is just smiling to himself. <laughs> <laughs> and right about then, you also hear the soft uh, pitter-patter of cat-like feet moving towards you. No. soft sold shoes. Okay. Soft pitter patter of soft soled shoes on cat like feet moving towards you. So moccasins. <laughs> yeah, They're sure. Moccasins. We'll go with that. Sun socks. No. Ballet <laughs> slippers. <laughs> Hark, I'm being approached by a ballerina. <laughs> and then I land on the bus. <laughs> Oh, hear. Jesus Christ, Mother. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, <laughs> Mother of God. What is going on here? You are being attacked. <laughs> Do you shoot yourself? <laughs> Probably not. I'm used to loud noises out of nowhere, but still. I'm not used to this environment. <laughs> All I need is some tea. <laughs> All I wanted was some tea. <laughs> he raps on the door. So I mean, you see him standing outside. Okay. I mean, he's standing there talking about wanting tea. As you come walking up, you see her land on the... You would like some coffee instead. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Not if you add enough sugar. <laughs> Why would you add sugar? <laughs> Have you had coffee? <laughs> No, I don't drink coffee. My character does. <laughs> I drink coffee. Espresso. I like it sugar. black. Sugar. Sugar. Say, sugar. Like my heart. You don't have a heart. See? Black. The gaping hole. Yeah. <laughs> a deep chasm. <laughs> no, I, I, I just sent Bob off to go and get some tea. So, he should be coming back soon with that. Hopefully. Why is he walking down the street away from the door? Your guess is as good as mine because I thought he was going to the store. Why does it look like he's running? <laughs> oh, wait, I think you may have gotten mush. <laughs> Mess with were you, the were you talking to Bob originally? What? Were you talking to Bob who took your order? Yeah. yeah. Why is he Bob? talking down to <laughs> I didn't give him any money. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's going to rob the store. <laughs> to buy stuff at another store. <laughs> he just drove off going the opposite direction of us. He drove? What? Got the no. Oh. Heading in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> store was over there. He went that way. And so the antagonism of Trevor of the continues. Blind. Continues. Kay. Anyways, um, <laughs> where have you two been? Still at the, uh, where are the others still at Applebee's or whatever? Probably. We, we went to the apartment. We went to the apartment. The one well, where the murder happened? Well, to his own. Where the murder was, you moron. To each his own. <laughs> we won't tell you what we found. You're not interested. There was a movie. Murder in a movie? Dude. Dude. Kill. Cool. It's not that I'm not interested. I'm just, if it's, um, personal businesses, I'd, um, I don't really need to hear about them. 
Do you want him or should I? You can go ahead and give me your best shot. Or if I make a circle. It is a parking lot. You have plenty of space if you want to spar. Isn't that what you like to do? Jack? He pops up on top of him. He's down. Many have tried. <laughs> Usually I have a ring, but the parking lot's not my first. No, this isn't my first parking lot. Brawl. <laughs> Me and I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting deep. Okay. So you guys finish up your 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 <laughs> of well, original sin. Why well, yes. <laughs> And that's why I, I do not uh, scold people too much on free merit to sex. Interesting. Wow. You just blew my mind. Oh, hey, it's a talent to have. So maybe we should head back to the bus. Yeah, maybe. I feel like we have less of... I don't even know where anybody is anymore. It's just us now. <laughs> yeah. you, you preached everybody away because they had to go think about their life. I mean, I'm still here. Yeah, now, Bill, life, so. now, Bill, I think that uh, that you should come with us because it's obvious that uh, I need to, I need to, to re-examine some, some issues in what's going on with uh, there and there. And I think <laughs> <the> road... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, hey John, we're gonna <laughs> he pees we're gonna amble <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna amble toward the bus. Okay, I'm the pig, the wiggly. John, low level mannerism on top of the bus. Which low level mannerism? Grooming. Okay, so yeah, so oh, you God. see the cat hop up next to you and start cleaning himself. Hey there. It is yeah. a public. S you guys oh. are walking back. Okay. Him, so that was directed at <laughs> okay. first you. So you guys are walking back. I need you guys to roll perception rolls as you guys get close to the bus. And those at the bus, go ahead and roll percep perception rolls all around. Let's do this. Everybody Nine. gets a roll. You roll, and you roll, and you roll, and you roll. I Everyone gets a roll. I got 19 this time. Ooh, 14. Nice. I don't believe you. Yeah. Okay. I got a back. 9. Uh. 34. Wow! You see everything. You don't know how he's cleaning that area in public and without getting undressed, but it's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's sheer curiosity. It's like, is he... <laughs> wow! Did you know that he, this kid, he can lick his own elbow? You know, just seeing him do that makes you peer past the <laughs> <laughs> Something <laughs> happens in my pants. <laughs> um, so, so you guys... <laughs> what is this feeling? <laughs> so everyone that rolled a, a nine or better notice the other people standing or sitting or doing whatever it is that they're doing. Um, you just really, I mean, wow. That was... That's I don't see grooming. anything else but that. that that's, well, I mean, you see everything, but you also <laughs> see the grooming, and that's just a little... That's what I mean. I see everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, weren't, weren't they just... With us? <laughs> you oh, did they talk for a long they, time at the. They did. They did take away. Uh, they did go away for a spell. How? What? How did <laughs> I miss that? <laughs> You're listening to my talk. Yeah, that's you are. You are pretty enigmatic. I don't even know what that word means, but I've heard it before. I think you said it before. But yeah. Uh. It's like a, a mechanic for enigmas, I think. Yeah. Ah. I'm a so, mechanic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better be. That's why I hired you. <laughs> oh, God, where's that tea? <laughs> <laughs> you want some beer instead? Oh, what kind of beer? Pisswasser. I'd rather have tea. No, that's the name of the beer, Pisswasser. I'd rather have tea. <laughs> I have one left. All right. I get one anyways and toss it up at him. <laughs> Trevor, roll perception to see if you hear a beer fight flying <laughs> through the air towards your face. Separate from my 14? Yeah, yeah separate. Seven. 
<laughs> <laughs> what is your enhanced hearing? Uh, probably a seven. Probably no, five. Or definitely. Probably a seven. Not at all. It's a five. Most of my things are seven. Higher or low? High? <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Um. So, so you're you're like, you know, I'd rather have tea. You hear him walk off. You're like, okay, whatever. You hear him come back. You're like, whatever. And then, bam! You get hit with a beer can. I mean. Not not like in the face. I, I know I said in the face, but it, it like hits your chest and sort of like falls. You can try to grab it if you want, or you can just let it fall. I would go for that right now. It's a can. Yeah. I'd probably let it fall and then kick it. Okay, kick it where? Doesn't Towards matter. him or just kick it? Away from me. Okay, hard or just like just kick. Unless it bursts when it hits the ground. Parallel. Hi. You know, Trevor, you might need to start thinking about calling something other than hi one of these days. That's the second one I rolled for your higher levels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hits and explodes. It's like, boof! Oh, no. oh. oh. oh come on, This man. is why I wanted tea. Do you realize how much beer, how much that beer costs? How much beer cost? Yes, I realize that. But you realize how much that one specifically cost? No, it was it was nice, but it was, nice, it was uh, twenty-five cents. Somebody catch it! The blind man. He thought it's the blind man would catch the beer. Wait, he's blind. Yes, he's blind. I'm not even looking in your direction. <laughs> <laughs> you thought a blind man <coughs> would catch a beer can. No, he was thinking that a uh, blind man <coughs> had some supernatural power, like dead devil. Oh, wait a minute. That. <laughs> Sorry, that's, Disney. It's cool. Go. Hey, that's cool. We can name actual characters. I looked this up. You can name actual characters from other franchises. As lo so long as you're not playing those characters in your game, uh, it's fine. Okay. Who is this Daredevil we speak of? But yes, that. Yeah. That's, that was my reasoning. No, unfortunately, I am just a blind man. Okay. Okay. You're so... Blind. Wait, no, see, he's questioning. I'm confused now. <laughs> you can hit him. I won't say anything. Amaya, um, are you sure this is um, a good idea? Maybe I should just run away somewhere. I'm with a bunch of idiots. Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> you're my favorite idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shucks. This is why I stick around, you guys. <laughs> wow. <laughs> dreams about us. It's nice. <laughs> so, here's, here's our, our, our plan for the future, if you so choose to, to stay around with us. Uh, it's going to take three more days to, to get all the, 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 uh, the bus and the truck fixed up. Uh, we're going to try and... Uh, find out more about those poor departed souls that were murdered in the apartment complex. Uh, but after that, then we're heading down uh, at least towards Slocum, Alabama, then probably, probably uh, go down, uh, down to I-10 and cut across and, and go to New Orleans for some beignets and uh, do a show or two. Isn't that oh. one of those ointments you put on your uh, sore muscles? No, 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 no. That's linen. Everywhere. That's uh, that's that's like that tiger bomb thing. Oh, uh, you're right. But uh, anyways, <laughs> beignets are pastries. Tiger bomb. Isn't those uh those jeans? It's made from real tigers. Too, that what you said? I'm not. pretty sure it's not made from actual tigers. No. No. See, I'm losing my see, mind. See, 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 see. This this guy's got a. A cat trigger. So, anyways, he has he no shoot, humor. He shoots cats. No, he, he's very he he loves cats. So oh. if you talk back about cats, long? see he he gets really his like fur gets in the hackles. Five, six <coughs> Anyways, tiger bomb is a a <laughs> liniment, and you rub it on sore muscles, and it uh, kind of feels tingly and warm. Makes the makes the ache go away. I'll pass. 
Mm. Th that's uh, a beautiful preacher. Yeah. He just described an ointment. Oh, I thought he was preaching. <laughs> he wasn't? So fancy. <laughs> Oh well, hey. Sorry, I don't know how to uh, speak. I, I nice speak and good. Like I speak to else. people, and uh, it is my tool of the trade to have vocabulary. When are we leaving? Because I have an appointment with my therapist tomorrow. We're leaving in three days. Gotcha. You did say that. <coughs> By the way, so, Bob, so. You got Jackson. You threw off. Uh, well, we better not have left. Just left. Uh, Permanently, because he's uh, one of my drivers. Well, I say good riddance, okay? Hey, then just because he drives a bus and you drive the truck? No, no because John, I hate I his heard fucking him guts. Walk in the correct direction. Why do you yeah. Why do you yeah, hate they're just him trying to fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> they tried it on me, but I heard which way he was walking. Because Bob uh, annoys the shit out of him. I'm just oh, anyways. Sorry. Uh, I don't mean to sweat. So, we're going to go down... <laughs> Through Alabama, down to, to I 10, and then start heading west. Don't know uh, how far west. Maybe. So, uh, the whole point of us going to New Orleans is. Well, we're going to have. Sorry. <laughs> we've Orleans. always had good shows there. But the whole point, mainly right now, is for beignets. Well, what for is him, a beignet? It is a pastry. Didn't it's I a, tell you that? It's a ben you what are you, slow? Are you are you what an kind, ignoramus? What kind of a pastry? It is a fried dough <laughs> covered in powdered sugar. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I pull out my phone and text an update to uh, Winfield. Winfield. <laughs> <coughs> it is. It is so a it's fried. Nasty. Huh? Oh well, maybe. So what? Depending on your your definition of pasty. I'm not. I'm not soup. No, not pasties. <laughs> I thought that's what you said too. <laughs> that's what I heard. Uh, like I never heard about no dough covered or, no nipple. You, know, you can always just text me on your phone. I'm trying to think of like the. Uh, that's true. Across the pond I mean, terminology for things like donuts. <laughs> okay, Trevor. <laughs> The proper pronunciation of what you're trying to say you is number, pasty. Right? I said pasty. Oh, you you kind of said you oh, had I like said, an you had so like a pasty. sort of. Uh, it sounded like you said pasty. I, I I heard a little I bit. I didn't of, say a pasty. No, no, I said it sounded like you said pasty, and that's Anyways. why I was just like. Uh, <laughs> okay. He so yeah. Essentially, yeah, a sweet pasty. I'm sorry, what? He wanders the back of the bus while also going on. Yeah, they're all outside. No one's gone into the bus yet at this point. Everyone's standing outside the bus or having this conversation. Or on the bus. He's walking to the back like, of the bus on top. Okay. So, so what have you guys been doing? Okay. We've been talking about, uh, about plans outside of Applebee's. Well, I spent about an hour trying to get Bob to figure out how to buy tea in a tea kettle. I hope you gave him some money. Because he said he had money. Okay, no, he's he he's been nice to you. He then. did last week. <laughs> he didn't even know you last week. N out of character, oh. he did last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway. So, Dustin and I went to the apartment. Which oh, you did, Dan. You find that info new? Yes. Ah, it is well. a lupine with wings. Let's let's go inside. Okay. When was the last full moon? So you guys get go onto the bus. Meanwhile, you make a phone call. Mm -hmm. you call them up. Does it ring? Yep, rings. Go straight to voicemail. Turn down the same ring. voicemail. Doesn't doesn't ring at all. Sorry, go straight to voicemail. Right. Doesn't ring. Just you like the last. Same time. voicemail again. Okay, same exact one. Got it. He's gonna try two or three more times. So you see them all going into the bus. Are you gonna go in or are you gonna stay on top of the bus? Mm -hmm. Somersaults off and go in. Okay. All right, now, I'm away from uh, some pride ears in the, uh, the street, in the parking lot. So, you found out some uh, information? <laughs> yes, the murderer. Smells like burnt lavender. 
and he was a dog person, a lupine, lupinoid. With now let me get this straight. You are teamed up with a cat person and murderer is a dog person. Is this some sort of racial thing? Well, keep in mind, too. He has a because, dog person friend. Because I have to tell you, I'm more of a dog person than a cat person. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, here we go. So, so is this, is, this, beer, man. Is, this, is this some sort of, some sort of dogs versus cats sort of scenario? Dogs versus people? Okay. Because they were the ones who got killed? I see. And he was instructed to pick up the coins. So maybe they were working together. And I seriously doubt it. Alright, so, dog person. Lupin, lupinoid, lupine, whatever. When was the last full moon? Uh, why do you want? Well, to hey, know? hold on. Yeah, why does that matter? By the power of Google, I conjure thee. <laughs> why don't you look on your phone and find out when the last full moon in Ju- when the full moons were in were in July? Please. It was actually Thank the seventeenth of July. Okay, I know. So, yeah, so no. <laughs> Thank you. So the last, so the full moon hasn't happened. happened yet. Last full moon would have been in June. We're not on the date of no. the uh, attack. So it's not a werewolf, and this is not a were cat. Werewolf? Because he's perpetually a, a cat. Yes, werewolf, meaning man wolf. Is it from a, a conjunction of the then, uh, you guys are here. No, 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 they're wolf. Ha, <laughs> just joking. Hey, I got your tea. Walks in and he sets down a bag and says, Here's your teapot. Puts a metal teapot down. Okay. Here's your tea. Big old, like, Gatorade-style thing sets it down. There you go. There's your tea. It says black on it. And here's a bag of sugar. <laughs> Everyone else sees on it that it's a, it's sweetened black tea. Granules. Like powder. There, there you go. Is this, um... You might not want to add the extra sugar. Welcome to America. <laughs> is it, I'm not familiar with this kind of packaging for tea. Um, I'm used to it coming in, in like, boxes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so you put, like, two or three scoops into the teapot. You add water, you heat it, and you have tea, and then you can sugar it up if you need to. Right. Did you get any tea bags then, or... No, no, it dissolves. It dissolves. It dissolves. Yeah. Uh. So there's your tea. Jack, what you have there is one of the, the fine products of American ingenuity. Oh, it is powdered nice. tea. It's tea. Yeah, you just it's add tea. hot water and it's tea. Now I'm going to go and deal with bus problems. Yeah, you go do that. And he turns and walks off. <laughs> Those. No, it's all right. You guys keep talking about your <sighs> flying dog. No, no, all. just just go. We don't we don't need your help anymore. Yeah, I know. Whoa. You got it, Jonah. You hey. got it. Hey, I'll Jonah. just uh, be right out in front of the truck making mm-hmm. phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you wipe off that stain off my truck too. Jerk. Might add one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I like that guy. He's funny. Tea with my hot plate. <laughs> so I heard. I can imagine if like there was like a a mouse or a rat with wings. That makes sense. That's a bat. Uh, or a pigeon. Or a pigeon, but like a dog. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm a person Did I miss wings. something? Every dog goes to heaven, right? Did, did okay, good. I'm just making sure. <laughs> did I miss the part? This 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 this, this dog person. Did they have wings? She mentioned she mentioned <laughs> wings. <laughs> she mentioned it briefly, but then everyone like talked about being trying, dog and I'm Rachel. I'm trying not to meta game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, it all matter. <laughs> People with wings, dogs with wings. Do you have wings? No. Okay. Do I have wings? No. Yes. 
they're invisible to everyone else. You should try to use them. Hey, now. That's what's happening. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're not trying hard enough. <laughs> But you, cl you clearly saw this. We dog haven't had enough beer, beer for that. On top of the truck. <laughs> but we clearly saw this dog fly, though, right? Did. I did with my powers. With your powers. Of hindsight. So you saw behind you. Hindsight, I can see into the past. Oh. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. That's neat. Slap How far does that like it? At the location, and. Do I know how far back? It just depends on the vibes you're able to get at the time. It's it depends. It's hit and miss. Could you see <coughs> the the fight that happened yesterday here against the Terminator? Oh, I could definitely try. Uh, before you do that, could you also sketch out the two eight? Hang on. She rolled eighteen plus fifteen. Okay, so when when you're when you're thinking about the fight, because of how your power works specifically, um, are you focusing on the Terminator thing or on the dog that was fighting it? I mean, who's your target that you're thinking about when you're doing it? I don't know. I'm just testing your powers. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you so so it, it'd, be, it'd be your character. What, which one do you think you would target at this point with everything that you've gotten, every knowledge you have right now? Well, the Terminator's more of an enemy, so I'd go with him. Okay. Oh, wait. But? But there was a dog person, and regardless of what he says, I don't know if I trust him, so. Okay. So you so the dog the person's dog. your your target. Okay. And see where he came from and everything. Okay. So what did you roll? Thirty uh, eighteen plus 30. fifteen. Yeah. Thirty three. Wow. Okay. So you're sitting there she and can't uh, today either. and in the moment the nope. moment that you see the first moment that you see and you can actually rewind it um, in your mind from the vibes because they're very predominant where you're at on the bus because the dog went through the bus <laughs> um, you actually see him coming flying in and you see the the terminator in you know outside the well not terminator but the robot guy the cyborg throwing him through so you just you see the throw the, the follow through on the throw you see the the lucanoid <coughs> come flying into the bus hit it with his back as he comes through the window right in front of you you see him hit the bus itself, you see the whole bus rock. You see him grab on, turn, ball up, and use the momentum to go through the window. And in that moment, you can tell it's definitely a completely different type of dog. This one's bigger. Um, this Lupinoid's about 5'10", and very stocky and powerfully built. No wings, um, but you didn't see the wings on the other one until it got up to the roof. Anyway. Um, but you, you see it hit very powerfully built, wearing some sort of like leathery armor underneath its clothes. Because uh, you can see as, as it hits the, the shirt, the uh, sweat jacket sort of pull up a little bit. You see some leather armor. Um, and he's less dog-like than the killer you saw in the apartment. This one looks more human-like, but with a little bit of fur, not as heavily furry as the other one was. And the, the features are more human, less canine. Okay, so I can tell that Dustin was telling the truth. It's not his friend. I have a question. Okay. What do we see her doing when okay. she's looking at this? So you see her, she, she sort of like looks at, you know, he said, can you do it? She sort of stops and, and just, oh, she did, probably doesn't do this, that's just me. <laughs> she stops and she thinks. It looks like she's <coughs> she's watching something. It's like you see her eyes sort of dance back and forth a little bit, and then she, her, she turns her head, and, and she watches, and her head sort of moves a little bit. And she follows the motion and, and stops and it, looks at it. It's like the it. squirrel from that and, one movie. And then it's, it's almost like she's seen a movie unfolding. Mm -hmm. 
look, she looks like someone wearing a VR headset. <laughs> Except you can actually headset. see the eyes. I'm just gonna put my like my hand in front of this. Yeah, no, no. I mean you can see him waving his hand in front of your eyes while all this is happening. You you can see both things at the same time. So like when you see the bus rock, it's it's a cool distorted faded image of the bus itself moving, even though the bus you physically are in doesn't move. So I saw what happened. What did you want to know? Oh, and uh, her hair. The, the pinkish red in her hair gets a little shine to it while it's happening. Uh, well, I was curious how far back you could see, but then it dawned on me the murder happened before the Terminator and everything, so that proved nothing. But, I mean, hey, that's cool, you can do it. How far back can you look? I don't know, it depends on the day and how I'm feeling and how strong the event was, I guess. Right, but can you see back to the fight that we had yesterday? I did. <laughs> still, still before the murder. Still after the murder. Oh, right. I thought we were just going to keep asking the same two questions over and over again. <laughs> Do you want to see if I can see back 100 years? <laughs> How about this? What was the guy's name from the Applebee's restaurant? The, uh, the janitor. You, that's janitor. just remembering things that happened earlier today. <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to go back. Back. <laughs> His name was George. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. This doesn't even seem like it's relevant. Forgive me, but this seems like it's more of just testing your memory and less of. But you look You're absolutely right. Power. <laughs> oh, hold on. It's not memory because if she saw the thing with her with her hiney, like. <laughs> You know, at the apartment, she wasn't there. I beg your pardon. I don't think she was seeing anything with her. I mean, it looked like she was in with her eyes, not her butt. I'm just saying. Hindsight, you well, mean? I was shortening it. It's like a nickname. Uh -huh. Please don't. Give How me about that this? Nickname. Hindsight. <laughs> How many times did I have you to repeat myself to Bob? So if you, you what are, are all about shortening things. Really I'm gonna start to calling you that? Bender. <laughs> Bender? You weren't here for it, right? Yeah, it's no, short for I Bill Sander. Bender. I'm cool with that. Okay. As in, you go on a bender. I can see it. Okay, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Back to what you guys were saying. I think it, there was a crosstalk and it was drowned out. I rolled a 15. To do what? I can barely to see hear. What? To see how many times I asked Bob specifically, or told Bob specifically what it was I wanted for him to buy while I was the only one there with Bob. Like, three times, specifically. Three times. The third time, Bob actually got out a piece of paper and wrote it down. <laughs> but I still had to repeat myself then, too. Yeah, oh well, yeah, yeah. So yes, it works, even though I'm not there when something happens. I can stand in that spot and watch it play out if my powers are working well enough. I think that's a better test of your abilities than, say, your powers. Or than just your memory for things you were there for. What time of the day is it right now? It is uh, night. <coughs> it is about eight, getting on to 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Oh, hey. How evening shows probably are. It, it's going to start in about an hour. Well, we're already set up, so y'all might want to head back now. To what? We're already here. You can't. We're here. The tents are just outside. <laughs> Can we sit in front of the bus in victory? What's that? <coughs> Do I have to pay to watch you tonight? Yes. You have to pay me. I'm sorry, I thought sermons were free. No, yes. He, he has to send me the bill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to walk right in. And on <laughs> that Tell note. you what. Your bill is inside whatever store has actual tea. That looked like tea to me. <coughs> you haven't even tried it. <laughs> so, and on that note, the kettle going. we are going to go to break. So uh, please bear with us while we go to break real quick. Uh, got a couple things for you guys to possibly see. Um, so, yeah. Sorry. See you guys in just a few minutes. Woo!
<laughs> you can have more than one pseudonym. We Welcome back. Me. Appreciate that. I right. uh, appreciate everyone uh, and your time and everything and giving us the time that we needed to go to break and uh, relax a little bit. Hopefully you didn't catch any of that risky comment. No, no, I, I made sure that the sound was not up. <laughs> 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 so we're good. Good night, um, everybody. They missed out. So as, as uh, you viewers at home saw, we actually have advertisement now for Enduring Films. <laughs> um, and I thought I'd throw in the, the trailer again for our video or our show right before we came back, just to refresh. A uh, couple things about that. Barnabas' name is spelled wrong. Trailer, intro, intro whatever. Um, Barnabas' name is spelled wrong, and the mini with Barnabas is really the mini for Bill, and the mini for and the mini for Bill is obviously the mini for Barnabas. So that is some problems. We'll fix that on later versions eventually. Once we, once we figure out why, um, like it's being worked on. Uh, so thank you guys for uh, bearing with us when we went to break. Uh, coming back. And I think we can pick up where we left off. I believe you guys were getting into the discussion, I hope, at some point. Uh, I'm also listen, trying to listen in on Bob, see what he's calling about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's your extended hearing rank? Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to have any. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you're, you're not hearing anything of what right. Bob's calling about and talking about on his phone. <clears throat> Everyone else, uh, you're, you guys were in the bus. We left off in a conversation at the tail end of razzing or BSing or whatever. Um, so let's go ahead and go. So flying dog, huh? A dog that flies. And you said it looked nothing like Dustin's friend. No. A different dog breed. Like what? I don't know. I'll pull, I'll pull up um, uh, some, uh, some dog pictures by, by the power of Google. He looked more <coughs> like a dog than Dustin's friend. Okay. He has some dog breeds. Uh, okay, uh, so does you start, anything. You start flipping through. Mm -hmm. Now, are you doing specifically dog breeds or breeds of canines? Okay, canines. So you, okay. Because um, high or low? Low. Okay, so while you're flipping through, um, one of them that, that you see as he goes through looks very similar. Um, it's a, a type of fox. It should be a canine. Fox, one of those two. The cat family. Nope, it's a canine. Foxes are lupines. They just act like felines. Yes, that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> Which would explain the going out the window and then going up versus down and and flying, but the having wings. So well. it looks more like a fox. Go back. Okay. This one or this one or this one. Does it matter? Mugshot, I guess. Uh, and I would pick the one that looks most like him. Can you sketch him out? <laughs> uh, now. I don't have artist. Can you invade my brain? Find the picture <laughs> in there. <laughs> that would probably be easier than me drawing it. Who are you asking? Sugar, that's that's a pretty invasive. <laughs> that was a pretty forward question there. Uh, what does it say? The uh, you said it looks like a fox, and you pointed at one. What what is that breed that, that she said it looks like? What does it say? Is it uh, like one of those like um, regular fox, red fox, fennec fox? More like a fennec fox, but the ears aren't quite as big. So, okay. so, um, actually, uh, I'm pretty good at sketching. Um, describe, how is it different from this, uh, this... So this I start... And okay. I use my influence questioning at, si at, uh, six. Okay. Start asking details and everything. Okay, roll. Nineteen. Okay, and you have artists, Quasi? I got fine arts. Okay, roll for your fine arts. Uh, it's all of a nine. What's your fine arts at? Three. Okay, so between you guys, um, you are able to get a, a 
pretty accurate sketch. I mean, he's like, so how about the eyes? What did they look like? What shape were they? That sort of thing. Between the, the two of you guys, you guys are able to get a pretty good sketch going of what this fox person would look like. All right. With wispy fur and everything. So, John, you're going to love this. Um, and when she gets to the wings, it's feathery wings. Feathery wings. Yep. Lord Almighty. Uh, I'm going to uh, use uh, this application on the internet. Um, it's called Tenai, and it does a, 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 a JPEG comparison and searches images across the web. Uh, Would that work? Why don't we just pull up the, s the same pictures? Well, it looks for similar pictures. Huh. And shows you where the hits are. What sites? It's not quite Google the image search, but it's similar. Mm -hmm. Is it Doodle image search? No. No. Okay, Ryan. It's on the website, Heinrich site. Fired. You need you to turn in your badge and your gun. <laughs> I haven't even been done. No, he got his badge and gun. No, 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 wait a minute. He wasn't given a gun. <laughs> <laughs> he got the badge, he got the gun. Yeah, also, I go. haven't been deputized yet, so no. Yeah, right? <laughs> Once a day. Would you like, would you like um, to be deputized? There were no hits for, for what you sketched online at all. Not even artist renditions. I mean... That's, uh, that's too bad. However, not we know the person's uh, the individual is careful then. So I'll do something else with Google. By the power of Google, I'll look for winged fox people. I mean, I mean, the closest that you would see, or the closest that could be done, there's actually a an image out there, um, but it's it's just a very generic image, and it looks like it's even freeware. That's even better. Um, uh, Dutch Angel Dragon drew it. That's all I'm going to say. Giving credit to the artist, and it's it's searchable out online. Um, I'm not going to show the picture because we don't have Dutch Angel Dragon's permission to show it. Mm -hmm. But there is a image out online of a fennec type fox with angel wings but it has a lizard like tail and that's not and your phone now has a virus Poor <laughs> <laughs> <Four> of them <laughs> alright so and a pop up that won't go away it's okay Jonathan can fix it <laughs> Jonathan fixes everything give him a hammer <laughs> so can I find out? Uh, can do just a, a search for fox wings <laughs> people. Yeah, like I said, lots of that's uh, other, other than other than uh, cosplayers, furry cosplayers that decided to throw fake wings on their back. You really don't get anything. Okay. And deviant art. And deviant art, which honestly you still get not much in deviant art for that. Because I did those searches. Then, <laughs> enough. then I'll very specific. Then I'll shoot off an email to to, to the artist that uh, did the closest sketch. Say, hey, I was just wondering uh, what you used for a model for for that uh, very interesting picture of yours. I expect uh, well, it being email, it won't be too quick. So, yeah. well. That's the internet for you. Unless you've got some uh, some inside information on flying fox people. Actually, John. Yeah. <laughs> do I have any like having like you know come across some strange shit? Like, have yes. I even seen this sort of thing? No, this is a, a first for you as well. Okay. Have I seen me? Just asking. Yeah, no, you've never seen anything like That's this. 
<coughs> um, in the in the uh, the carnival arena, you've heard of all sorts of people making themselves look more animalistic, um, but none of them with wings. Um, you have heard some of the people that made themselves like like a uh, what was her name? Tigress. Yeah, Tigress. Susan. Susan told you that she actually. The thing that inspired her to look more like a tiger, even though she always felt like a cat person, um, was that she met somebody that was a cat person before. Mm -hmm. And so she talked to them about it, and she's like, I want to be like that. And so that's what sort of inspired her to undergo those surgeries. Mm -hmm. So you know the existence of animal people, but you've never encountered one yourself directly that you're aware of. The fake folk. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Not quite. And I just shot well. a text to Winfield. Okay. Thanks for the heads up, so I can check it. Not the normal kind of fake folk. Well. As normal as fake can be. <laughs> well, hey. Maybe all people can uh, get a beeline on this fox assassin. The flying fox. He's probably quite clever. Was it male or female? Yeah. Male. You're right, Should we tell the detectives show. in charge of I the investigation? Right now. Is that except, what you're doing? Except, I thought we already agreed for you not to be secretive with all of these things, Mr. Sander. So I was sending a text, what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to get some I think info. he was billing somebody. Probably, probably. I mean, if I have access to this organization that's, uh, you know, like, why not have them help us with, you know, some investigation? No, I get it, but keep us well, in like, four? You're going to remember anyway. So I'm going to be sending... So I said us, not just me. I figured, you know, <laughs> since I have access to this organization, I figured why not get some info? Yes. And keep us informed. As Circular soon as I get again. some information. No, been, keep us informed that you've you're been looking sending at the, the information You've been looking at that him. phone for a Go. while. You haven't said anything. Yes, yeah. because I sent him a picture of this. this. Do all this? <laughs> you this bag again. Hey, wh okay. What is that? You drew, did you draw that? You can smell a, a slight... Anyone with heightened smell, <laughs> hyper smell, smells, uh, you know, mint really strongly. I don't have hyper without smell, hyper smell, but... And everyone without it can, can detect a, a fine scent of uh, spearmint. Ah! Oh. What is it? No, no, not not, 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 not a lot, just a hint. No, I know. I know. Okay. Jonah doesn't like the smell. He okay. <laughs> uh, likes so, the smell of bitter. <laughs> uh, they say that they have an agent that's, that uh, is similar to that. However, it is female. It is a female agent. This is Meanwhile, John, I'm going to send uh, uh, just a... Uh, Phone capture of the sketch to Detective, Detective Clay. Okay. And say, uh, believe it or not, this is your perpetrator. Now is okay. Is is Windmill aware of the uh, Windfield? Windmill is he aware of the uh, murder? Is it? Uh, Murders? yes. He is aware. I believe so. Oh, you know what? Come to it. I haven't told him yet. Uh, but he's been giving me info, so... Hey, they're aware of the murders. I'm sure they are. If I recall correctly... And they're the one that shut down the, the local police investigation. Yes. Oh. Uh. Then yes. Now, are we sure that it wasn't just because of this robot thing that attacked us and not that murder investigation? They're already investigating. He reclines back on one of the chairs. Okay. The kitty got, seems relaxed. Got something you want to share, Kitty Cat Man? Kitty Cat Man? It's better than Prosthetic Cat Man. The name is Justin. Maya? We'll get there. Are you certain that it was a male? Yes. I, I didn't see his junk. But it definitely looked male. Okay, just making sure. Nothing feminine about him. Maybe you can ask Windmill if we can meet this lady. So we can... Maybe see if she knows anything about a man. That was real personal of you. 
You shouldn't be asking ladies about their business. I'm not. What? Mm, I'm just saying. <laughs> so, uh, I think, unless we have a, uh, a sudden unexpected uh, <clears throat> sideline or a beeline to, to this winged fox person that uh, we might have run into uh, an investigative brick wall. Should we skip ahead a week? Or three so, days. So, let's see. The plan is we were going to go to Huntsville, Alabama, um, because that's where um, we pick up our ten. But we're going to go to Slocum first at, uh, at Jonah, Jonah's request. Uh, so we can. Thank you for getting my name right this time, preacher man. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we'll I'm going to Slocum before going to Huntsville, doing a show in Huntsville, show or two, and then start heading west towards New Orleans. No. We're going to be eating the finest food along the way just so we can uh, just make it a, a nice pleasant trip. Maybe we ought to try some food truck cumpanos while we're doing that too. <sighs> Would we like for her, the agent that fits the bill, to meet us here? Yes. That's what I was suggesting. Sure. Let's just see if she knows this person. I'm just cleaning my weapons. Okay. Yeah. She pulled out some knives. When do you want, uh, <laughs> when do you, when can you arrange meeting? Mr. Sander? Um, just asked. I'm actually surprised that windmill is so forthcoming with all this information towards you. Uh, yeah. You. Yeah, that's why I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to know is, is he asking you to do anything in return? Are you sure he's not just trying to play us? Oh, you know, Mr. Sender does have a pair of mouth. That being said, no, wow. I don't know that. <laughs> but I would like to hear head. from you. Uh, You'd like to what? I would like to hear from oh. you. Oh, <laughs> would you think he said? If he never mind, do you do anything in return? This is still a uh, no. Just kind of give him updates on what we're up to. Yeah, but I mean, he's assisting you. He's the leader of these guys, and he's just like, yeah, yeah, just meet this person. Well, I get to live. I mean, that's nice. Is he threatening your life? I don't remember. But I like life, so. You don't remember if he's threatening your life. I think that'd be pretty important. I know it was a couple hours ago, but it really feels like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. It's okay. I don't. I don't remember anything. <laughs> is the tea ready yet? Yeah, yeah, your your tea your tea is ready. Yeah, so yeah, she'll meet us here in about four hours. How long is your sermon? About four hours. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be time. Would anybody like some tea? Sure, I gotta try this. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you will Just enjoy. Two. Anybody else? Oh, hopefully you'll enjoy the. Uh, Do we have tea cups? Nice tea cups. No, but there are some. Uh, there are some coffee cups. Yeah. Little some red coffee cups. cups. No, no, no. Styrofoam. Styrofoam cups. For hot beverages. Red plastic cups not so good for hot beverages. Those at home might want to take note of that if you didn't already know. Um, I don't. I also don't know if there's a spoon or what the proper measuring device is for this kind of tea. So yeah, yeah you know, you there's just a sort of like there's there, a, there scoop was a scoop inside that felt the scoop in there and like I would, I'd compare it to how much tea I think it's supposed to make uh, and yeah. just for an eight just wing it okay I, well I am winging it so so why are we low? making so the John, I make the tea Hi. John John it's it's actually it, it doesn't how many scoops do I use you use like a quarter of a scoop and per to cup. you 
it tastes great. Yeah, per cup. Really? Yeah. To you, it's, it's like it's got the. You didn't need to add sugar. It's right. It's like tastes like black tea with just a little bit of sugar. It's, it's good for you. So I make two cups. Okay. With quarter scoops in mind. Yep. And and he gives you the other cup. Now you're tasting very watered down sweet tea. Is, is what it tastes to you. That's hot. That's hot. Very watered down <laughs> hot sweet tea. It's, it's warm water with a little bit of flavor. <laughs> well, thank you, Jack. I mean, it's that's not as good as actual like a tea bag in it. But you're like, eh, it's not bad. It's it's better than you know. possible. <laughs> You like it? It's passable. It's uh, not exactly a breakfast tea, but it'll do. And I guess we have an entire thing of sugar. <laughs> we'll never underestimate the needs for sugar. So are we going to be here for a few nights? You guys have four hours. Well, we have a yeah. Still, so. yeah, I got to do my sermon. John, <laughs> I'm going to take myself a glass, fill it with ice, and um, pour in like the hot, watered down tea, and pour then it mix it with uh, another scoop, a full scoop of okay of, of the, the yeah, like it was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's good southern sweet tea, mm -hmm. instant good southern instant sweet tea. Yeah, oh, well, I mean. Yeah. Well, if we wanted to brew some, then I mean, that was a different matter. Good. <laughs> you, good hey, luck with your sermon. There. I, I think I'll you. stay in here with a, a book and a nice uh, glass of tea. You sure you don't no. want to out a little bit? Look intimidating. Are you expecting <laughs> rowdy people at this sermon? It had, it's no, been known to happen. I mean, why do you think Earth, I'm mostly uh, here? I'm sorry, what kind of a preacher are you? A real one. <laughs> Realistic. Yeah. Are we talking Catholic or Protestant? I'm a Christian preacher. A southern one? Are we expecting the Catholics to come out and, and try to <laughs> pick a fight? I apologize. This is the Did I not just clarify? It's been known to happen. You know... If there's a fight that goes on that doesn't quickly resolve itself with the power of love, then there's something very wrong with the, with the, what's going on with the, my, my sermon. Well, it'll also just be resolved with the power of Jonah, so it'll be okay. You're well, just, then it sounds like be, you don't need me. No, you're just going to be needing there to be making sure nothing does happen. If it does happen, we don't need you. We just need myself. It only happens while you're just going to be there. Like, um, and I won't let him I, be there because he failed me the last time and he... It should be about okay. the time, the right, it's, it's about that time, so I dress up, uh, okay. I walk in with um, with my glass of tea, because, well, it's tea. Okay. I've got and, some reading in And start off. So he goes to the back session of the bus, closes it, comes back out dressed, mm -hmm. differently, before, nicer. Before he heads out, how long are we going to be here? Three days. Three days. He goes outside, starts setting up for a campfire. In a parking lot. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> I thought you parked. This yes, is the least lot. weird thing no. we've done all nope. day. I'm no. just still <laughs> in the parking lot. We are in, in, the parking lot. in the parking lot. Um, hey, could you do that somewhere away from my show? Sure. Yeah, awesome. there's a there's a big cloth tent right there. You don't want to touch that. Even I know that. Yeah. I'll be off half my face. <laughs> okay. So, ah. Uh, 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 reinforce my message of, okay. of peace and love and aliens. Uh, and uh, aliens. Okay, I, I need you to rule for your sermon. Oh god, are we going to storm Area 51? <laughs> Maybe. It may be Maybe. in the cards. This might be the, the what really sparked that, that storming <laughs> right. desire of Area 51. Just as long sermons. as it can coincide when it does happen with our show. So we can yeah, right. And then we're going to have to get some time skips going. <laughs> what? What? 18 plus 15. Oh, 33. It is an amazing sermon. Nobody gets rowdy. I'm glad rowdy. I stayed inside. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody <Right>? gets rowdy. <laughs> Or everybody gets rowdy. One of the well, they get rowdy just in the right way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 
Doesn't mean they can't get back. Like some tea. For those that didn't go into the sermon, you guys can okay. hear the energy okay. of in the, the, the applause and the clapping and the singing. You guys can fully hear it outside. It's almost like you didn't need to be inside to know what he was talking about. I'm having a good <laughs> Irish conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking her how many times she needs tea. Uh, I'm making sure that there's some sort of... Um, like a scone, or or um, scones fed in some way. We're having Jack. I didn't realize that the Irish were a spot. Uh, I think, I think oh, that, yes. that that's the closest it's thing to a scone you're gonna find is at the Piggly Wiggly. That's called a Little Debbie. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> he reaches into his pack and pulls out another shot. Okay, so. <laughs> The sermon goes stellar. It goes amazing. Uh -huh. um, th there are some some wounded people that you can heal, and and it it's Hallelujah. An amazing sermon. How long do you preach for? Hmm. Two and a half. Two and a half. Okay. So you wrap it up at two and a half hours. It takes another half hour for everyone to clear out and leave. So three hours pass. You're doing the sermon. You guys are convincing about tea. You're getting hot. I mean, <laughs> having some nip. No, he had his nip. Now he's drinking a vial of liquid. Yeah, yeah. having some nip and a chaser. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's it's a great sermon. So you know, three hours later, what do you guys do? I find my cat. Okay. Oh well, yeah. While you guys are talking, your cat would actually have <coughs> been on your lap and you'd be petting. That it. is the secret to a great cup of tea. <laughs> Can I get you another cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Which one was it stronger? Is Bob doing the same thing as he was the last sermon, sitting outside telling people not to be intimidated by me? Um, you don't see Bob for this sermon. So I'm going to be looking more intimidating. Let no Bob. Let no Bob. Little kids run up and hug you. Yeah. You know. <laughs> at, at, the end, at the end, you know, people are like, taking pictures with everyone, you're feeling very relaxed and, and calm and joy-filled. But I still have my shotgun. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just feel joy-filled with okay. the shotgun. And when people come up and hug me, I'm just going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> with wow. that exact smile. <laughs> it doesn't be smiling. <laughs> so three hours passed. You guys reconvene on the bus. Mm-hmm. That was a great sermon, preacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jonah. So I think we should get prepared for our guest. Uh, should we get like a spotlight or should we have somebody standing outside with like a flashlight? I mean, or we could why are you why are you wanting to prepare for for somebody that's in a secret service in the in the in the business of suppressing alien uh, alien presence uh, of the knowledge? Why are you trying to make us a are you gonna get a get a bag of milk bone dog biscuits too? Oh, I could use no, no, no. Bob. <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> we could use some biscuits. Is it a good idea that she meets all of us, or just you? I do I not trust her to talk to him one on one. Stop. So all of us. I was meaning because we are not part of the government thing. You are. Do I need to All take right, if you're afraid of them, like yeah, I'm not afraid of them. I'm just saying, I don't want to risk your cup. What is yeah. that? Another cup of tea. I mean, nine. You have why don't we just no. have you don't me, Amaya, what? and Barnabas nine. together, nine. and nine. then you guys sit behind the bus just in case something goes down? I'll be there too. Once again, I still think it might be better if it's just you. While they're talking, you hear something outside the bus. Yeah, there's still a big hole in the side of the bus. <laughs> Just pointing it out. By the way, is the hole on my left side or my right side? Uh, yes. Well, the, yes, because the there's a broken head? window. It was and a through and through. The bus, so, you know, it's, it's so like, yes. Yeah. So you, you would have heard something this bus outside. Um, and it's no, that's why we're getting a completely new bus. I'm getting you, tea. You're getting Three tea. Days. And as you're getting the tea, you hear um, a soft <coughs> footfall of someone getting onto the bus unannounced. So oh, come right in. Did you uh, need some tea? I could, uh, it's very, well, it's not the greatest tea, but it's okay. I made it myself. Uh, oh. You should have some tea. I look over. Sorry I'm early. 
Who are you talking to? So about? in case we need to ambush anything, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey guys. Oh! Sorry, that's awkward. So you guys see a, a lady. She's about 5'5". Five five. She has auburn colored hair. Um, she looks normal. She's wearing a, a very smart blazer and a pair of slacks, white shirt, no tie. Can you talk person? Uh, yeah, please, thank you. She's Were you a dog sent? person? Were you she sent looks by human. Uh, her eyes are um, an interesting shade of green. It's like not quite normal shade of green. You were I, sent by Winfield? Yes. I look at her and just nod. You look a little different. Yeah, so, um, Jeffrey? Yes. Agent Dahmer. Yep, that is yeah. definitely my name. Yeah. Dahmer. Um, <laughs> I know. Agent You've heard Jeffrey. Good to meet you. Uh, these Did you say Bird Dream? Beaudry. Beaudry. These are, uh, my friends. Justin. Okay. Justin, Barnabas. Yes. Amaya. Jack. Jonah. Pulls his hood back. You got my name right, Bill. Good job. Uh, so we were told, well, somebody said that... Give her a moment to have her tea. Come on now. <laughs> you like tea. Yes, I, I, I like tea. We also yeah. got some pistols. Is it okay? Do you, do you need anything else? Is there anything else I can get for Just you? Just some tea. Be fine. Unfortunately, all I have is a hod. So. She, she sort of walks up and sits down on one of the chairs. Takes the tea from you, takes a sip. Interesting. That's the best I could do. You also got some piss while, sir. It's official business. I'll, I'll stick to the tea. Okay. So, you were. I was told that you guys need to talk to me to see if I have any brothers. Well, <coughs> I'm confused, but I, I humor. Oh <coughs> I humor Win because yeah, he's Win. Yeah. And, you know, you have to humor him, otherwise, he gets angry. Well, so, I'm here. Good we time. were able to determine that uh, uh, the the murderer of those uh, those people in the apartment complex yonder, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, had some interesting physical characteristics. I show him the sketch. Oh, she takes it. Huh. I can see that um, uh -huh. you're not probably a close kin, but you might have heard tell. Um. Yeah. So. Or show them. I'm sorry, what? Would you show them what you can do? I'm just a government agent. That's that's what I am. So I sent a picture of that, and he said that you fit the bill, and I don't know what that means. Unless he's talking about me, and I am Bill. No. I thought Bill was your middle name, and I said it's That's what I'm saying. Uh, no, and yeah, um, yeah. Um, you know something? So this looks guy, like he, he, he does. He does look familiar. Yes, um, he is one of the reasons that I joined up with the organization that we're a part of. Um, so, yes, yeah, he, he's a terrorist. Um, he likes killing people in the cities he happens to be in. Um, the type of terror he likes to strike is uh, more personal, small scale. Kills people here and there. Drops off the grid in one area, pops up in another, kills a few more people. Leaves coins behind. Leaves coins behind. Is there any rhyme or reason for his murders? Um, not that I've been able to find out. Um, unfortunately, I've never been able to get my hands on any of the coins he's left behind. So I don't know. If you were, what, what, what would that tell you? I was hoping to find a pattern in the coins. Because there's no pattern in the people he chooses. He picks families. Um, usually three to four people, kills them all within five, six minutes of each other, um, sometimes uses guns, sometimes not, um, usually small caliber firearm, and... What about location no wise? Uh, Do you have a map? 20 um, years ago, he targeted homeowners. Um, in 2008, he started targeting people that owned apartments, or... Um, Sublets. Um, now it just seems to be random families, from what I can tell. Um, he's. What? But what about like location-wise? Like, um, if you were to take a map and you were to put a pin in the location of every uh, recent murder that he's done, <coughs> maybe it made a symbol, or there was some sort of. If, if you take, thing there. if you take 
all of his killings, it it looks like a very vague sketch like that he's trying to fill in of the Belial symbol. And that's part of the terrorist organization he's a part of, um, which is like a skull, a weird shaped skull and crossbones sort of thing. Um, com compared to that, right now, another cup of tea. Um, yes, please. <laughs> she, you know, shakily takes it from you. Um, in the middle of the Belial skull, there's like a radioactive symbol, okay. and we're about near one of the parts of that. So it's like he's filling in. So would he the detailing, if you will, with murders. So would he be? Is he just outlining that radioactive symbol, or is he actually trying to fill it in? Um, I. From what you can tell. From what I can tell, I think he's. He's already done with all the outlines. So he's filling it in then? Yeah. So we can expect more in the next few days? Maybe here, maybe not. Um, it, when, he, when he made the outline, it's not like he started at the top and worked his way around. It's, it's he randomly made the symbol with murders randomly. So he's trying to be an artist? Yeah, I think so. Now he also said he's a, a Belial agent? Right? Yes. Does he have any known associates? Uh, just Belial? The terrorist organization yeah, I know known that. as Belial that I'm, that I'm aware of. But I was just meaning like actual people in the organization that he might have. Uh, we don't know a lot about... Can I take a We've look at that? We've been searching and, and studying this organization um, prior to the Knights vanishing. They were helping us collect information on them. Um, we have been able to track down the... I want to say the names, but it's more like the code names, because no one in that organization uses their real names. They use code names. What are the code names? Um, and the one moment, um, she starts. She like. And this is where everybody pockets. starts actually taking notes. What was her name again? Her name was Baudry. Agent Baudry. Where did I Agent that? Baudry. Baudry? Mm -hmm. um, Baudry is spelled B-E-A-U-D-R-Y. And when she said it, she actually would have shown her badge. Just mm -hmm. so you guys knew that she was who she is. Because that is second nature to most people that you know, are in the... Our feds. Our yeah. feds. Did you show her your badge, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, this is me. <laughs> wow. Now, Agent Beaudry, I have another question. You've described the, the shape of this map of his work. Um, do you think it would be possible? Is there a physical copy of this map? Um, there, there isn't one. Um, I mean, yes, there is one, but it's not... Well, on a smaller scale. Yeah, no. We, we've got one up at, at the headquarters. <coughs> Do you have an and image like, of him? Um, no, we don't have a picture of him. Do you have Winfield send me a picture of one when you get the chance? Of the map? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, uh, mm -hmm. I'll just take a picture of it when I get back to Langley. I'm heading there after we're done here. What I was going no to say, is there, is there any way, I don't know how, um, exactly your organization works or how busy you are, um, but is there any way you think that maybe in the next couple days you could get one set up? Physical on a smaller scale here? Oh, I'll take a picture and send it to him. Yeah, you can look at the picture all you want. Possibly with uh, like a, a string or something going in the order that he drew it. Oh. Yeah. I know yeah. it might take a little he's, bit. He's been doing this for over 20 years. We, we do have... This is not kindergarten. We use digital boards nowadays. We don't use actual strings. <laughs> so um, he needs a physical copy. He's a little bit. I, he's a little bit right. um, side challenged. Oh, I just thought he liked wearing sunglasses. No, he's wide. At no, he's indoors at night. Yes, indoors. I, thought, I thought you were a fan of a certain song. He likes tea, and you're blind. Correct. Okay, he's blind. Okay, good to know. Yeah. So I will, um, yeah, I will see what I can, see what I can do. As far as the names, um, there's quite a few members in the organization. Um, I can't share all of it with you, 
Um, but Just I have what you can, sugar. Some of it. Um, you could be persuasive. Well, sugar. Yeah. Not right now. So what we know about Belial is, what I can share is we know that there are several different teams in Belial. Um, so um, we've got like Team 1, Team 2, Team 3, Team 4, Team 5, Team 6, Team 7. She actually pulls out a little notebook and she's flipping through. Um, team 8, Team 9, so there's like 9 teams and their assassination team. What kind of team? Yeah, something like that. And but, which one is... But in each of the teams, there are assassins within each of the team. And then the assassination team is like made up of all of those separate individuals, all those one. Um, so they're they're a little different. Um, so the nine-person cells? No. The killer in each group? No. no. Not at all. That would make too much sense for them. So Belial prides themselves on doing things completely different. Some teams have as many as 12, 13 people. Other teams have three. <laughs> so it's... So which team does our man belong to? Um, so this guy, um, his code name is Silhouette. Why is um, he named Silhouette? I, that's just what the knights told us. So we're going off of the code names that they provided. Um, he's part of uh, what we consider Team 4. Um, and he is not the leader of it, but he is the assassin for that team. And how many members are in team? Um, there's four. The leader of that team, I can, t I can tell you that one. His name's Whirlwind. And the other three people, you know, well, Silhouette's one of them. And then Dangerous is another code name. And Predator is another good name. Wasn't that a movie? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was a pretty good one. I liked it. It was a documentary. <laughs> oh. I know hard. So you went to that class too, evidently. You know. Second day on the job. Yeah, okay. Dangerous. <laughs> uh -huh. um, dangerous is a female. She's their computer expert. We don't know a lot about Predator. We know it's a male. And we know Whirlwind is a male as well. Uh, we do know that Whirlwind likes knives and blades. And he moves kind of quick. So it is also male. Okay. We did not know that. Well, I mean, I knew that he was one of my... Oh, um, <clears throat> a, a winged fox person. But that's, that's about all. But I knew I didn't know it was a he... I didn't look under the clothes, but definitely looked male. Okay. Okay. So that helps. Yeah. So that's that's what we know. Um, Team 4 is active in this area. Um, Eastern Seaboard, that's, that's where they do things. Everywhere between New York and uh, Miami. That's, oh. that's what they like to do. I apologize. I have one more request about the map. Okay. Could you make the strings connecting in order um, of different kinds based on what the characteristics were. Uh, I don't know what you're asking. So, like, have a twine for one, a fishing line for another. Why don't I just give you all of the files and you guys can make your own string map. Well, there you go. You have finally... I'm sure that they can help you you have finally asked for what they were not willing to give. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, again, we use a digital board so that we can just cycle through if we want to look at all the, all the killings with just guns. We can do that and it'll show those. And it, it, it's kind of neat, but, you know, we've got some pretty good programmers. Sounds like military technology. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, pretty, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty nice board. Completely transparent, so you can see through it while you're doing stuff. Well, then I guess uh, when everybody is going to do that, if they need any tea, <laughs> they can uh, provide that. Can I do an Ida memory check of 
what I've heard about Belial's attacks on Earth. Um, yeah, yes, she can. To see if there's anything relevant that might prompt a question of her while she's here. Yeah. Fourteen, and my rank is fifteen. Okay, so um, from your knowledge, most of your knowledge would actually be centered on the assassination. Um, were there actual assassinations versus just general terror attacks themselves? Um, they do s tend to target the free world, you know, the first world countries as opposed to the third world countries. Um, although they do tend to take credit for anything happening anywhere, even after other people came forward and said they did it, because Bilal likes to let people think that they're bigger than they are. But then that wouldn't have fit on the map. Yeah, so within the map of the U.S., you would know that there were, as far as assassinations go, um, the ones that would, would key off to you would be, there would be one in San Francisco, um, one in Walla Walla, Washington. I've been there. It's a real place. Um, across from that, there would have um, there would have been one right in the middle of Oklahoma. And then there was uh, a few more on the eastern seaboard um, following the, the, in the Carolinas, following the coast, like three or four more. Those were obvious assassinations of public figures, not just random people. Professionally done, big murders were done during broad daylight, no one saw the attacker. Close range. Go figure. Like so it appeared and disappeared. Close range. Small color b bullet to the forehead, right between the eyes on every single one of them. Well, not right between the eyes, more like about here. The third eye. Yeah. Which on the Belial symbol is about where the radioactive symbol is. For those that don't remember what the Belial symbol looked like. Soon to be our brand of uh, metal. <laughs> <coughs> that's going to be the emblem on our food truck. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, that's, uh, that's the symbol for our metal band. <laughs> so I've got maybe a, a bit of a benign question for you. Okay. Um, I mean, nothing may come of it, but I was just curious. She closes her little notebook. So, with a recent murder that happened here in town. Yeah. There was obviously the family that got murdered, but there was a little bit of collateral damage as well. There was that extra lady who got murdered that was in the other room. Does something like that usually happen with no. each of these? No, normally he doesn't, he's not that sloppy. Now, are we so sure it wasn't confuses methodical? confuses me. Um, I've, I've went over all the information I can find. Maya? It seems like Bag. a stray bullet. It, it, it's a stray bullet, but he's never missed. Few hairs. I could get these to the lab. Yeah. Shadow. There's also the scent of burnt lavender. At the, she at she pops. She pops up. And other contaminants in this bag. <laughs> you won't go there. <laughs> Closes it. You really need to get some help. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not Do you know? Uh, no. No. Oh, okay. You might want to share with your friends. Speaking of sharing with your them, needs, there's just actually one more thing too. Uh, Shadow, I'm guessing you saw Shadow? the same kind of thing. She that looks you, around. I'm, say, I'm saying that, that not I'm guessing that you saw that same kind of thing that you did here on the bus, like in that weird looking around and seeing things that aren't there kind of thing. But I'm guessing you saw that in the apartment, correct? Saw so what sort of thing? Like the, uh, the 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 images, the hindsight. That's what you called it. Yeah. 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 Did you, s when he shot through the wall to the uh, other apartment building, did that seem random or was it methodical? Mm -hmm. Did you see that? I. You can make an eidetic memory check if you'd like. Because I had seen the floor yeah. outside the apartment yeah. that first night. Yeah. Well, and you went back into the apartment and you had me describe everything to you with a, with a roll, so. Twelve. Um, from what you remember, it looks like from what you saw, he had just killed the person, the second person. He went to shoot at the third person, 
and he shot before he fully turned the corner. So it could have been an accident. It could have been intentional. It's really hard to tell just because it was just really quick and brief and it was really fast. And you didn't have a lot of detailing at that point. He could have been surprised. Seemed mm. like he wasn't fully ready. Maybe. Did you hear what you said about the uh, burnt powder? But for, yeah, one second. But for you, a small caliber pistol shooting through a wall like that is not that common. <laughs> Did you hear what you said about the... Yeah, yeah. She, she was like, Burt Lavender, you said. Yeah, that does fit. It does fit the, uh, the MO from what we can tell of, uh, of Silhouette. Preacher man, oh, was, was that lady's the one who died? Was her daughter at the at the sermon earlier today? The one we had in the morning. You, I you don't got, think she went to the sermon. Told her didn't to come by, right? Um, she was there in the evening. Ah, so she was yeah. in the evening sermon, not, gotcha. the, not the afternoon one. Did you get a chance to talk to her? Again? No. no. But uh, I, I saw her leave, and she seemed. Okay. Yeah, at the end, everyone seemed great. <laughs> it was an amazing sermon. Everyone felt touched. <laughs> Mom died yesterday, but I feel fantastic. The power of God. It was amazing. In the name of Jesus. Okay, so, um... Um... Yeah? Agent Sender? Yes. Uh, no. Dahmer. No. Dahmer. Oh, sorry. Dahmer. Sorry, she'd say Agent Dahmer. Yeah. My bad. Uh, Game Master problem. Agent Dahmer? I can't. Yes. She leans forward, whispers in your ear. How much do you trust these people? <laughs> I trust I trust them for as long as I've known them. Twelve? Yeah, you can hear her. Anyone with enhanced hearing. <laughs> No, I you you can just tell that she's whispering something. I'll tell you this. I've never had friends for much longer than them. Okay. Thank you. I'm uh two days. (laughs) (laughs) You say that a lot. Okay, good. (laughs) I'm I'm a specialist on his race. So, like I said, I joined this. I joined the force no, Miss, um, to stop him. Miss uh, Baudry. Agent. My apologies, Agent Baudry. Thank you. Um, I worked hard to get this title. Me too. There's no doubt, um, at least on my part, um, that you mean well, and as does your agency. Um, but you, you seem to stumble over a couple of your words earlier, and I just wanted to inquire about them, if that's okay. Uh, sure. She, like, twirls some of her hair. You, you made comment, um, and then corrected yourself, uh, about him being one of your, I mean, a person of that description. Like I said, she was. she looks at at Bill. <laughs> um, I'm not human. I look it. I can. Like I said, show us. And then as she does this, you see reddish fur start sprouting out of her skin. Her face doesn't change. She doesn't go that. She's just like a little bit on her arms and her hands, I mean, from what you can see, and, and some on her neck. And then she just stops and it just goes back in. Matt, he's one of my kind. It's a I see him. It's not magic. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys would see it. You, you don't. He, he's, he's, he's one of my kind. Um, there aren't many of us. Mm-hmm. There's like 20. Some, sometimes finishing the essentials. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot helps. that you that you can't see. How many see. of your kind? Oh. She, she, okay. reaches my, my over, kind she reaches is... over and grabs your hand and puts it up to her neck, and you feel the fur sprout under your fingers. 
Agent Beaudry, and it's then okay. Go back in. We forget he's Bond sometimes too. Uh, more, moreover, saying kind uh, is more of a help than leaving it open because it could mean any number of things. True. I yeah. I'm just um. Normally, Wynn doesn't send me to talk to people about things that are not easily explainable to the masses. Oh, I'm sorry. I should probably uh, let you know that uh, my family is a rabbit, a tiger, and a crocodile. Okay, then. Right. Well, Where is your kind from? Um, <laughs> originally France, believe it or not. Um, oh, what part? I'm from Ireland. Oh, wow. Um, so, so the Alsace region. So, um, you know, southern France. Yeah. Now, when you say originally from France, like that's where you were born, or that, that's, that's where you're That's where my, my ancestors came from that I'm aware of. So you don't know of them coming from another planet? <laughs> no. Was an episode of Grimm. You um, there are some people that, that, you know, within the agency that, um, wow, you guys know a lot more than I thought. She visibly relaxes a little bit. Um, yeah, I told no, you I trust them. Yeah, T is helping, and and Win must have uh, <laughs> um, must have understood because this is amazing. Yeah, it was an intense interview. There are some people that that believe that most of us animal races are from other planets, um, but I I firmly believe that my kind is from here, from Earth. Um, there's all well, sorts. from France. All my family. I bet from good here. money they're not. Um, well, There's all sorts be of nice stories to a lady. And folk stories um, about my kind throughout history in, in that part of France. So, you know, usually called winged foxes, not to be confused with the bats that are also <laughs> called winged foxes. But, um, but yeah. So, it's... Now, John, do I, do I detect that uh, she is uh, in any sort of spiritual damage or mental damage? Oh. Uh, that's a three. Nope, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you can tell, you. she's very. Uh, she's very. She's just. She's just. Right she's on. just uncomfortable. Yeah, she was just uncomfortable. She's. You can tell she's getting more comfortable talking to you guys. So if it comforts you any, the whole everybody here is, is special in some way. Blind boxer, but he fights like you can see. We have an angel. I'm actually Brennanthian, and I have wings. Whoa, you're. Yes, You've heard of my kind? We thought they were all dead. My mother escaped. She wasn't there at the time. Oh, wow. She takes out her notepad again and jots a couple things down. We have a living sandbag. What? <laughs> <laughs> when you find it, it seems like nothing could move you. I guess you're right. We have this cat the person. Felonoid. Yeah. We have the best talker. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. Well, a, and you're an agent. Yes, and I'm an agent. He also yeah. does his pants pretty well. So. It happened once. But you also are somewhat prophetic in your dreams. Yes, I have had very yeah, strange dreams. Good. I've been talking to my therapist about it, um, and I, it worries me sometimes. But I, I've been dealing with it. I've been talking to my therapist. I'm. This is the first time. You know, These are Agent times. Dama, okay. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't air out your own personal dirty laundry. I get That's I start no, thinking I, about I, it, I, I start I thinking about it, and it's not good. the openness. Um, yeah. Speaking of appreciating openness, why do you hide your, what you are? Because there's many people that can't take it. Some of us that, are, that look different without the abilities to change how we look. And she looks right at Dustin find it harder to mix and mingle in this world. Uh, until it comes back up. <laughs> After all, you know, people do discrim <coughs> they do discriminate <laughs> they do discriminate against gingers and she is most definitely a ginger. <coughs> you know, so is Susan. <laughs> hmm? Wait, so does that mean you have a soul? Yes. Ignore him. As far, <laughs> I was always raised to believe that we have souls, just like people. Ah, you didn't get it. No, I'm sorry. My. Oh, I'm sorry. You were making a joke. Yeah. My I'm line sorry. of questioning was yeah, more. Um, 
Because I know places where your kind would be very much welcomed. Yeah, I heard of a place in Canada, but... Oh, I was thinking a little more local, currently. Um, but like I said, my family, they... They don't get to pick and choose when they are what they are. So they had to work for it. They had to earn it themselves. Or it was their... So you're a mix of rabbit purse. and tiger and crocodile? They're not my blood, but I would bleed for them. Oh, okay. Okay, so... He's adopted. I think he's asking you to join the circus. So <laughs> you're part of the carnival group that was here? I was. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay. However, but okay. My, my point here being... Yeah. That Okay. It's not always easy for people to be whatever it is that they want to be, and sometimes you just have to be what you are. True, um, which is why I became an agent. Because what I am is someone that likes to track down bad guys and lock them up. Oh, hoorah. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they're my own kind, and there isn't that many of us there to begin with. It, it, I think you're, well, you're There's only 20 people in, in your lineage currently alive and they do bad things, it reflects very poorly upon the rest of us. So do all of your kind have wings or just Yes. Okay. Yes. All of us winged foxes have wings. Hence the winged. There have been a few so misplacements. I sit my tea. <laughs> if uh, if still wet is still around uh are you going to stick around and try and catch it? Um, I am supposed to go back to Langley tonight, um, but I'm planning on coming back tomorrow. All right. Well, hey, we'll see you tomorrow. Keep in touch if you hear anything, and I'll promise to do the same. Okay. That sounds good. I will let you guys know if I see something. If you guys hear of another murder, let me know immediately. I'll, I'll do my best to get there as quickly as I can. Of course. Cool. Okay. Oh, you can't be leaving just yet. You haven't had another cup of tea. You look, you, you sound parched. I do, I do have to, uh, I wouldn't. Be I'd get you some food, but unfortunately flight, but we I don't do have, have to too many. There, I, I understand there's a store over there, but the <laughs> last guy I sent us. I can still give you some of that piss box from this side. Uh, no, it's all right. It's all right. Next time. I'll, I keep I'll the Irish pint hospitality with me going. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do have to go. It's a long flight to Langley from here. Oh, then you're definitely going to need some things. I know you're going to need uh, some more tea for, for the road. You're going to need some It's not a flight. commercial a... flight or a private jet. Well, you're going to need... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I... Do you need any snacks? I wouldn't be able to eat it while flying. You should probably leave. He's just going to keep talking. I s thank you. I just were. <laughs> <laughs> She gets up, steps outside, goes into the darker, shadowy areas, sprouts some wings, and takes off. Really fast. Well, that's cool. She really hated that tea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's actually a good place to leave it for tonight. So, thank you guys for watching. We appreciate that. Um, we will be here next week. Might start a little late um, because there is the event. Convention. Convention that we'll be at. Um, so at least three of us might be a little late, but Rafa might be here early. I'm so the only time I can actually the only get time we can actually get here early, and, and you know half of us are not going to be here on time. So <laughs> might not be here on time. Set we'll, up, we'll cabin boy. We'll see. Um, so no, thank you guys again for watching. Now. Thank you, Enduring Films, um, for allowing us to use your wonderful space and your tech, and it actually worked tonight. Yay! Yay! With just minor tweaks. Um, Yay! And uh, more eye jails. For Isaiah's, thank you. Thank you. Looking forward to drinking some more of your wonderful brews. And uh, Epic Gold Worlds and Games. Hey, Jimmy. One of these days, we will get you on the stream, I promise. Dragon Gem. Dragon Gem, Hairball, all of our sponsors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we couldn't really do this without you. Well, we could, Stay but it foxy, wouldn't be nearly as ladies as and gentlemen. Um, all the viewers. Uh, we, we had quite a few viewers tonight. I really appreciate it. It was great. Uh, tune in next week. We will see you guys for... Force Affairs Board, 7.30, Thursday, 6... 8.30. 8.30. <laughs> yes. Have a good night. 8.30. 8.30, Thursday.
going to see if I can get horrified. If not, we'll play another game. I mean, we can horrify you in other ways. Yeah, uh, by you playing the game and making an hour long, I mean, sorry, making a 20 minute long game last an hour. Perfect. <laughs> Everyone else, thank you again. We'll be here next Sunday. Um, so we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye. So I'm invited back is what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On a, on a, oh, that, that's a that okay. okay. Ha, 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 ha.